Quick start tutorial. Poisson equation with a point source. The classic Poisson equation is one of the most fundamental partial differential equations. Although one of the simplest equations, it is a very good model for the process of diffusion and comes up again and again in many applications such as in fluid flows, heat transfer, and chemical transport. This example shows how to set up and solve the Poisson equation for a scalar field on a unit circle. Fixed value or Dirichlet boundary conditions are prescribed on all boundaries of the domain, and a point source term is applied to the center. This problem formulation has an exact analytical solution, which is used to measure the accuracy of the computed results. This tutorial can be run by selecting, model examples and tutorials, quick start, Poisson equation with a point source, from the file menu, and followed with the step-by-step -step instructions in the user's guide. To start a new model click the new model toolbar button, or select new model from the file menu. In the new model dialog box, select 2D for the space dimensions, and select Poisson equation from the Select Physics drop-down menu. Leave the space dimension and dependent variable names to their defaults, and press OK to finish the physics mode selection. Geometry mode To create a circle or ellipse, first click on the Create Circle Ellipse toolbar button. Then left click in the main plot axis window, and hold down the mouse button. Move the mouse pointer to draw the outline of the shape, and release the button to finalize the shape. The object properties must be changed to make a unit circle with radius 1 centered at the origin. To do this, click on the ellipse E1 to highlight and select it. Then click on the Inspect Edit Selected Geometry Object Toolbar button. In the Edit Geometry Object dialog box change the center coordinates edit field to 0 0, and set both the x and y radius to 1. Finish editing the geometry object and close the dialog box by clicking OK. To make sure that a grid point for the source term will be located exactly at the origin, a point geometry object must be created in the center. To define a point select create object point from the geometry menu. This opens a dialog box where you can create a new point object. Enter OO in the edit field for the point coordinates and press OK. This will add the point P1 to the center. Grid mode Press the grid mode toolbar button to switch from geometry mode to grid generation mode and initialize a default grid. Equation mode
switch to equation mode by clicking on the corresponding mode toolbar button. Equation and material coefficients can be specified in equation subdomain mode. In the equation settings dialog box that automatically opens, set the diffusion coefficient d to 1 and source term f to 0. All other coefficients can be left to their default values. Press OK to finish and close the dialog box. To add the point source, select point sources from the equation menu, and enter one in the corresponding edit field for the center point. Press OK to finish. Boundary mode. Switch to boundary mode by clicking on the corresponding mode toolbar button. In the boundary settings dialog box, select all boundaries in the left hand side boundaries list box, and choose Dirichlet boundary condition in the drop down menu. Set the Dirichlet boundary coefficient r equal to 0, and finish by clicking on OK. Solve mode. Now that the problem is fully specified, press the Solve Mode toolbar button to switch to Solve Mode. Then press the Tool button, with an equals 2 sign, to call the solver with the default solver settings. Post-processing mode. Open the post-processing settings dialog box by clicking on the plot options toolbar button. To see how the solution looks like in three dimensions, activate height expression plot by marking the corresponding checkbox and press OK or apply. The resulting visualization clearly shows how the central point source results in a spike in the solution. To plot and visualize the difference between the computed and exact reference solution, enter the analytical expression in the edit field for the surface plot expression. The largest errors are clearly found in the center due to the coarse grid. To improve the accuracy one can create a grid that is locally refined around the central point. The tutorial is now complete, and the model can be saved as a binary file, exported as a MATLABM script file, or a GUI playback file.